Now I get asked all the time about drone laws in specific states, cities, counties. So in this 50 part series, I'm gonna go over every single state and the drone laws that exist in that state. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Oh, also this is not legal advice. Now, either you live in or plan on visiting Indiana and you wanna fly your drone, here are the rules you must abide by. Now, there's three different parts of this. There's the federal laws, the state laws, and the city laws. Now, if you're flying just for fun, a la not for cash or check, doesn't matter. Here are the rules you must abide by. Now, if you are flying commercially, skip to this time code. Now first, you must register your drone before flight to the FAA Drone Zone website. I'll link it below. You must fly within visual sight. Your drone must be under 55 pounds. Now that is very, very heavy. Most consumer drones are like between one and three pounds. You must never fly near another aircraft. If you're flying within five miles of any airport, you must notify the control tower. And lastly, you must never fly near emergency response efforts. Now for the commercial flyers. You must hold a remote pilot's license issued by the FAA. You must register your drone with the FAA Drone Zone website. Again, I'll link it below. Your drone must be under 55 pounds. You must fly in Class G airspace. You must fly below 400 feet. You must fly during the day or at civil twilight, which is 30 minutes after sunset. You must fly under 100 miles per hour. What drone goes 100 miles per hour? I barely drive at 100 miles per hour. You must yield the right away to any manned aircraft. Can't fly over people. And lastly, you cannot fly from a moving vehicle unless you're in a lightly populated area, which I'm guessing is like farmland. Now these eight things, you can actually get a waiver from the FAA to avoid them, but you must go through the legal process. Now that we got the federal laws out of the way, which are countrywide, remember, you always have to abide by these rules. Here are the state and local laws. In Indiana, you are not allowed to operate your drone in a manner that'll interfere with any public official on duty. Off duty, maybe, but not on duty. Also, if you are a registered sex offender, you are not allowed to use your drone to follow someone, contact, or capture images of anyone without prior consent. Now both these are class A misdemeanors, but if you have a prior conviction under these same laws, it becomes a level six felony. Now if you're convicted for a level six felony, you can serve from six months to 2.5 years in prison. Ooh, that got serious. Now in the state of Indiana, you are not allowed to use your drone to scout game during hunting season. You are allowed to take photos or videos of a traffic crash site. And lastly, you are not allowed to fly your drone in Indiana state parks. And that's it. Now, every law that I just mentioned is linked below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to fly safely. And if you have any additional questions, just ask. I'll see you next time.